it seem like we feel the same We love what we hate We lie, but we know We can't wait to win How to understand that God really will give you the desire of your heart. Hello guys, this is Shindel and today's share is about understanding that God will give you the desire of your heart. Guys, this is Shundel and I am sharing this with you through my life experiences and through my reading. I am not perfect. I am still working with myself. Guys, believe me, my life here in Norway is hard. More than enough. Hard, guys, but I can still smile even I am struggling with the pain of my body. Guys, it says in the scripture, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desire of your heart. Guys, I am sharing this with you because I am a believer. I'm using the scripture as my toll in my life journey in order for me to survive, in order for me to smile, even I am in the midst of the storm. Yes, this is my inspiration for you today, guys. That when we delight ourselves with the Lord, He is going to give us the desire of our heart. Again, I have to remind you that reading the scripture, it needs godly wisdom. Yes, when we have that godly wisdom, it becomes easier for us to understand what God really wants us in our life. I am not talking about religion. I am talking about spiritual, what you are believing for. Each and every one of us must believe into something. And I know you can believe in Buddha, you can believe in the Allah, you can believe in whatever you're believing for. My point here is you have that belief, you have that faith, you have that desire in your heart when you keep communicating to that thing you are believing for, really, guys, you can have the desire of your heart. But you have to do the expectation as well. Expect more. Learn more about your situation. When you have asked, it says in the scripture, ask and it shall be given unto you. When you have prayed, when you have asked, it is enough already, guys, to believe that He is going to give you the desire of your heart. But you have to be aware to have the positive mental attitude all the time. You have to think that I'm going to have this. I'm going to experience this. I'm going to receive this. And always also remember that there is perfect divine timing of receiving the things we have asked for. It is very important that the expectation is there. Expect more. Accept more what is going on in your life. And be grateful for that. Yes, the key here also is practicing an attitude of gratitude. Thinking that I can receive this because I am grateful. I deserve this because I am grateful. Saying thank you in advance of the thing you are asking for is very important. Acknowledging that God is there with you. He is going to give you the desire of your heart. So keep on expecting. Keep on thanking Him. Keep on believing Him that the answer of what you are asking for, it's on the way. 
think of yourself that you deserve to have that. That positive mental attitude, guys, really helps you. So keep thinking that you can have it because you deserve it. So guys, I am sharing this with you really because it inspires me because it simply sees the scripture delight yourself to the lord and he is going to give you the desire of your heart yes it says in the scriptures in psalms 37 4 delight yourself in the lord and he will give you the desire of your heart Guys, into this scripture doesn't say you have to earn or make the desire of your heart happen. No, God is going to give them to you. You'll know it's the hand of God because it's going to happen without a struggle. If you keep delighting in the Lord and meditating on His Word, filling your mind with thoughts of hope and faith, then without even trying, you're going to come into your time and God will give you the desire of your heart. You have to trust God's timing when things aren't happening as fast as you would like. Every season is not a harvest. There are seasons of watering. There are seasons of planting. There are seasons of weeding and fertilizing the ground. These are important seasons. They are times of testing. When God is saying what you've made of, are you going to keep a good attitude when you're doing the right thing but not receiving the desire of your heart, there are tests we have to face. Have faith and patience. You're closer than you think. Pass the test. The test is there to test you if you are capable of receiving what you are asking for. Guys, thanking Him for the desire you have put, He has put in our heart. That desire, guys, doesn't come just there. God put it in your heart, but He wants you to ask for it. You have to understand that we don't have to work for them or make them happen on our own because he promised to give them to us he said i will delight ourselves in you and i will fill our mind with the word of god yes i will delight myself in you and i fill my mind with your words, meditating the goodness of God, thinking and believing that you can have it because it's so clear. It says, delight yourself in the Lord and He will give you the desire of your heart. Simply believe, trust, have faith, have patience and obey what the scripture says as simple as that guys i am really inspired what says in the scripture and i am sharing it with you therefore guys when you ask something when you believe for something you prayed for something expect that you can have it expect that you have it sooner or later but you are going to accept the timing the time is on the way you must be patient you must keep doing the right thing even things aren't happening yet yes it takes a lot of maturity accepting all these things i know 
it is easier said than done. But I always bear this in my heart, guys, that I believe in Him. He is working behind the scenes for me. He is for me. He loves me. He said, ask and it shall be given unto you. And I believe that desire in my heart, He is the one planting it. Therefore, I have that desire. So I just pray. I just ask and keep expecting that it's gonna happen to me. This is Yundel. Thank you for listening. Thank you for dropping here in my channel. I am very grateful to each and every one of you supporting me here in my life journey. Life has never been easy, guys, but I can still smile on my struggles because I believe and trust that God is working behind the scenes for each and every one of us. I love you all and bye-bye.